I'm Peter Block here in Chile, Chicago at the ACC 16 meeting for On the Scene. With me is Steve Nissen. Steve obviously needs no introduction. He's at the Cleveland Clinic, and Steve has been at the forefront of a whole bunch of clinical trials. Steve and I were talking about the issue of the terrible conundrum of muscle aches with statins and the fact that we just seem to know less and less about it. Steve now has done a trial which gives us a peek into what's actually going on. So Steve, the Gauss trial, tell me about what you did and then we'll talk about the results. So in Gauss 3, we set out to determine whether people with a history of statin intolerance could be confirmed to have muscle-related intolerance when challenged with a torvastatin versus placebo and then crossed over so that those that got a torvastatin got placebo and those that got placebo got a torvastatin. You only were determined to have confirmed statin intolerance if you had symptoms on a torvastatin but not on placebo. Okay, so I've got to ask the obvious question. How many people on placebo had muscle aches? Many. So. 42.6% had its symptoms only on atorvastatin, but not placebo, but 26.5% had symptoms on placebo, but not atorvastatin. That's crazy, and we, but essentially we've known a lot of this has been sort of funny effect, haven't we, in the yeah. past, but this finally confirms it. It does, it's called the nocebo effect. It's the kind of the opposite of the placebo effect. It's having, experiencing side effects from a drug even when you give people placebo. Okay, so then you had people who were clearly statin intolerant. You knew they were statin intolerant. They proved it by the crossover business and the analysis. Then what'd you do? We randomized them to a standard of care, which is azetamibe, Zetia, uh, and or evolucumab, one of the new PCSK9 inhibitors, treated them for 24 weeks and determined what the efficacy would be. The azetamibe treated patients these patients started at an LDL cholesterol of 220. Yes. Okay. And they got down to 181 with azetamide, and they got down to 104 with the PCSK9 inhibitor, evolucumab. That's a 53% reduction with evolucumab and a 16.7% reduction with azetamide. But you didn't really look at outcomes in these patients in terms of heart outcomes, death, myocardial infarction, and so forth. Maybe that's coming, is that right? Well, that will be coming soon for this, this class of drugs. The purpose of this was to understand whether we could use PCSK9 inhibitors as an alternative in patients that have statin intolerance. What we found is of the 145 people that got evolucumab, the PCSK9 inhibitor, only one patient stopped study drug for muscle-related intolerance, intolerable symptoms. So the PCSK9 inhibitors, even in people with well-documented statin intolerance, are very well tolerated. Okay, so I have to ask you one question that's important, and that's who did you choose to be in the study? This is really not just a local uh, Cleveland Clinic study, is it? No, it's a global study, uh, 53 sites around the world, 500 patients. Uh, these are very, very difficult patients. Getting them to accept a rechallenge with a drug that they believe will cause them intolerable symptoms required tremendous dedication on the part of the patients and the investigators. Okay, so Steve, uh, we've now got a really good peek into what this whole statin and muscle ache business may be about. I guess I have to ask you, you may not like the question, but how are we gonna predict which patient is statin intolerant? Well, we may not be able to, but we're gonna try. We're now gonna look at our full database for the trial and see if there are predictors of the people that will turn out to have true statin intolerance rather than, than uh, a psychosomatic illness. And maybe we'll be successful, we'll find out when we do that analysis. So uh, a real peek into this whole muscle ache business. It's a big step forward, thank you, Steve. Thank you.